So since last May, when I was first diagnosed with some melanomas, I have had 12 biopsies. One has come back <laughs> benign. That didn't need further. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, that's right. So the last biopsies, the latest ones came back mid last week, about a week ago. And they want to take a bigger area on at least four of them. They're trying to decide about the fifth one currently just because of where it's located. And I'll just leave that to your imaginations. <laughs> or not. <laughs> so first week of September, I'll go in to have those done. And I know it's just the devil trying to distract us mm. because for a long time, I used to think that I was going to die of cancer like my mom, and it left a fear in me. But maybe since I've now had cancer, <laughs> or because I know the joy of the Lord, which is probably more it, yeah. I don't fear that anymore. If God decides to take me home through cancer, that's okay. But while I'm here, there is joy to spread and hope and love to be shared with others and no diagnosis of any sort gets to affect that. The devil doesn't get to sideline me because of biopsies and melanoma and whatever else. They can just cut it out and have it. What does the Bible say? If your eye is causing you to sin, you gouge it out. Well, if there's a mole that's gonna <laughs> keep me from proclaiming the gospel, the Lord take it. <laughs> the devil doesn't get to scare me anymore. He doesn't get to and still fear. Fear is a liar. Our hope is found in Christ alone and our joy is in him no matter, no matter what. We had some new friends with Eight Days of Hope pray over you and proclaim healing and yeah. in Jesus' name and we're believing that's a miracle. And Absolutely. And like you said, in the meantime, you know, fears from the devil. That's right. So we're just gonna persevere in Christ and keep pressing forward and keep sharing the gospel and and be in his will yeah absolutely amen <laughs>